Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Harvestella. In the previous video, we made our way deeper into the cave. We saw well, these guys. So, saw more of them. We also saw like, the flower cave as well. I believe we saw that bit in the first part. So yeah, that's where those flora, whatever those things are called, coming from. It's from here. And I do believe, so before I'm going to say it again, I'm pretty sure those are the cause of what's making those creatures appear. The people are turning into them. So that's fun. And then of course we did the, our normal uh, character building quest as well. Out of those. Yeah. Let's be, be her class for a little bit here. So, I believe, yeah, we just came into this room. Uh, this is where we wrapped up the first time. And then, uh, then we left. But, yeah, we need to have everything frozen today. Uh, can't get up that way. Okay. We have multiple ways of um, Actually, we don't have a way to get up there. Oh. Is this one of those instances where I'm going to have to do it on Frozen? Does move, but it's very slow. That this is not going to be an easy opponent. I hope we didn't need a frozen. I hope you're prepared. Your judgment day has come. That was a good workout. There's a sparkle here. A dry popping crack comes from the crackled ice wall of ice. A chunk of ice breaks off. It's about to fall this way. device breaks off and lands right on your head. But thankfully, you protect your head just in time and only suffered light injuries. I feel like if I... See, some of these things are like, you want to pick the thing that maybe not isn't the correct, quote-unquote correct one to do. Like, maybe it's like, oh, that doesn't sound like it would be the right thing you'd want to do, but that's something you'd have to do, because it's like, oh, yeah. Let's get this over with. Lost souls from the pose. Unproposed. This is not going to be an easy opponent. Out of pure curiosity, since this is basically take us back to the game part anyway, I, I'm pretty sure that area over there is probably just going to be a... Uh... Like a treasure room or something. Or, you know, just this. The 
canal doll too. Wise man's roots. This is not going to be an easy opponent. Thank you. Do I still have sandwiches? I have one sandwich left. was hiding well this, this thing is called something about like machination or uh, aria what's going on I think they have something like this in this time you know what this is I do it's a machine that we use in the future Sure. But why is it here? And what does that make you? We'll have to talk about that later. If this is here, then that must mean the sea slave really is connected to me being pulled into this time. What is it? I think the question you should be asking is why the patriarch hid it. Okay, automata. Where's your model number? Model number EM2072B. Cruel Automata FMS type alias Anomaly. Did the puppet just talk? Okay, Anomaly. Where's your prime directive? Prime directive is to observe future events and present findings to the operator. Ah, the Oracle. It's an event observation system. This was the Patriarch's precious oracle. I'm sorry, 
I have no idea what's going on. Do you want to explain in a way us normal people can understand? Ah, my bad. Your Patriarch's Oracle is a sham. He used this machine to predict the future. He just called an Oracle to explain why he was able to do what he was doing. So this thing can see into the future? Basically, yes. This is an event observate, uh, observation system created in the future during my time. Although it doesn't actually see the future, instead it predicts events by studying changes in the environment. In other words... In other words... Now you guys are able to predict tomorrow's weather. So not dissimilar to predicting snowfall when a finds appear in the air. That's right. You've learned this pattern based on numerous environmental changes. This machine does the same thing, but on a grander scale and with greater precision. I find all this pretty hard to believe. But if you know how to use this thing, I don't have much of a choice. Future civilizations? What the hell's going on? Is this another of your dead tricks? The event observation system was eventually suspended for being too expensive to run. Its primary purpose was to act as a compass, using events, using event tree analysis if there were a disaster. There were issues, since it could only predict disasters after all, no guide, not guide us in overcoming them. Being able to predict disasters suits the Patriarch's needs perfectly. Who wouldn't believe an oracle that predicts calamities after that event with the sea slide? Or at least, that's my hypothesis. It's all rather trivial when you break it down like that. But why would his embassy? Because he's fucking evil! I can sense him up ahead. Why don't we go and ask him ourselves? As long as I get a teleporter thing. As long as I get a teleporter thing so I can eat my sandwich. And heal. And save. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> I just said that. Feel something unusual up ahead. Yeah, let's do it! Alright, I was about to say, yeah, that's the name of this chapter. It's called Cruel Automata, so. Your embassy! Oh, Shri Shrika. What are you doing, Patriarch? Please explain this. Take a look around. They're all dead. No. Well, maybe not dead, but. What have you done to them? They are not dead. Yet. You're here earlier than I expected. What is the meaning of this? What happened to the followers? They were wearing a floss in Dalkaitia. It's a target. Knocks them down, takes over their minds, and makes them his dummies. Consciousness, and he absorbs him into his body. Then off he goes to the next town, leaving the trail of death in his wake. Isn't that right? Kirky Guard. Kirky Guard? Oh, so you know my real name, do you? What do you mean by real name? My name is indeed Kirky Guard. I am a hollowed, born of the sea's light. Oh.
Uh, excuse me, I was going to sneeze. Your embassy, I'm not sure I follow. This monstrosity is no patriarch. He's a hollowed, a kind of man-eating monster. But that's impossible. The patriarch isn't a monster. Oh, yeah, he is. Been a mercenary long enough to know a thing or two. I know about that village, Kiki Guard, the one you obliterated 20 years ago. You too, do you? It was terrible what happened there. I came so close to death it took quite some time to recover. But thankfully, that is how my path crossed with the Order. They saw me on the brink of death and took me in. They're a good-natured bunch. They already had blind faith in their teachings, so manipulating them couldn't have been easier. I don't understand the whole situation. This guy sounds like a real piece of shit. How could you play Shirika? I wouldn't call it betrayal. It was always my plan to use them. Although I did almost pity them at the first, it was laughable to me that they worshipped this stone the way they did. It is simply nonsensical to worship this stone while hating omens at the same time. You humans are utter fools, controlled by your hearts. All you do is shorten the plant's lifespan. Won't you be better off living under our rule and becoming puppets of the hollowed? Why did you take us in? Why did you bring me up as your own? I knew that you held an immense latent power, Shirka. So, my plan was to use you as a figurehead who would win over the hearts of the people. It all went according to plan. You became known as a seraph child and a symbol of hope within the Order. Although, that hasn't been necessary since Animon appeared. You're using me as a tool? You'll pay for this. <laughs> Don't be a sub. Since when was food ever able to make its consumer pay? Are you telling me the teachings mean nothing to you, Patriarch? That everything was leading to this? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Like, I totally get where she's coming from, but I want to murder this dude. But of course, only think piety in order to gain control, oh, control over the order. I couldn't care less about the teachings. No one has ever even seen the Holy Mother with their own eyes. How can you believe in such fantasy of final? If you were to lay your eyes upon the grace of the Holy Mother, it would surely drive you into despair. I only used the teachings to my advantage when it suited me. They were just another tool, as all of you were. But you, Shirka, are an exceptional tool among humans. There's remarkable power concealed within you. So if you wanted to become one of my thoughtless puppets, I wouldn't allow you. Well, good, because I don't want to, you fuck. I am grateful for everything you've taught me, Patriarch. You've taught me countless lessons, important lessons. I saw the world as a bleak place where, when I was a young orphan. But I've made it this far thanks to you. You took me in and gave me something to believe in. I can only imagine that the people of the past made the teachings because they believed in the power of the human heart. Because although we may make mistakes, and we can be foolish at times, it is our hearts that drive us to improve ourselves and build a better future. We can take steps to make each day that bit better than the last. And without you, I never would have come to believe in that. For that, I am grateful to you. He was only using you! I know, his intentions may have been warped, but that doesn't change the fact that I gained something valuable from him. And so, I will bring you down by my own hands. This heart of mine, that you nurtured and raised, is only telling me one thing, that I must stop you. Even if you try to downplay the importance of my existence, I will always stay true to my heart. Fool, what use is that heart of yours? That fragile organ is why you humans have to be fed faiths and religions for sustenance. 
Why suffer and live subjected to the pain that your heart brings? We could be a cold hearted puppet. So be it. If you choose to defy me, I shall just have to kill you. I need your help, everyone. The patriarchs. No. Or rather, Pickard's plan ends right here. Where are you? I've been waiting for a long time for this moment. Well, I may as well help. This is only on my sea flight investigation. Have no mercy on him! Let me show you how peaceful it is to be eaten. I will be the one to stop you. That is my responsibility as your child. Yes, yes. Followed you this far, Kierkegaard. Just keep still and let me eat you. You'd last this long. I will give you the sickness that is despair. I'll never let go of my heart. It can't be. I'll deal with you myself. I'll deal with you myself. I will give you the sickness that is despair. Resist if you want, it will be the death of you. It can't be! What? Toppled by the light of you, human! Kierkegaard! Unbelievable! Overwhelmed by mere humans! or whatever his name to just come in and just slice his head off right in front of her. Come to your senses, Shirika. It's me. Could you really kill me? But yeah, I'd have her cut his head off. I'll do if you can, Shirika. I don't want him slipping through our fingers after we've come this far. Shirika, have you forgotten your debt of gratitude to me? No. How could I forget? Well then... Thank you for raising me. Cold-hearted bitch. And now... Goodbye. Die! You wretch.
Ugh, how did I get caught up in this mess? Didn't even get any good clues. What about Anami? Anami, Moi. All right, I guess. There's still the question of why that automata showed up here. And that's about the only clue I got from coming here. Shirka's taking her time. But this whole event must have been a lot for her to process. Sorry, I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. Oh, well, you actually look perkier than I expected. We were just talking about you. How did it go? Well, I told them to grant you all access to the Seed of the Stone of Seasons. Great! Now I'll be able to research the Seas Light without any restrictions. I still like you to not draw any undue attention to yourself in there, though, please. We're still dealing with the, that puppet, so for now, we're trying to limit entry to Order members only. That makes sense. I can imagine the confusion it would cause if people found out about it. How's everyone in the capital doing? They're alright. They've been on the mend ever since the Floss and Delgancha was done away with. I'm hoping things will be back to normal by tomorrow. How about you, Shirka? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. It's just been through a pretty grueling experience. It's only natural to be feeling emotional right now. Are you worried about me? Well, I would be lying if I said it didn't affect me at all. But I can't let this stop me now. Even if the Seraph Child was just a product of this scheme, it's a symbol of hope to the followers, and that's just as real to them as my own heart is to me. No one can deny that. So, for as long as people rest their hopes on me, I will keep fighting. I won't neglect my duty as a missionary. If that's how you feel... Yes, more now than ever. This event had caused a lot of disruptions in the Order. I have some pa patching up to do. I'm here for you if you need to talk. <laughs> I appreciate the concern. But honestly, I'll be alright. There's one thing I'd like to say, though. The Order wouldn't have been able to resolve this without you. Thank you. That was also a wake-up call I need to start broadening my horizons. So I decided I'm going to join you on your travels whenever I'm not working for the Order. That would be great. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what this missionary is really made of. Where's Brock anyway? What is he getting up to this time? Damn you, Shirka. Your power has exceeded my expectations. You just don't know what to give up. You. What do you want? I need to ask you something. There was another hall with you when you attacked that village 20 years ago. Where is he? You. Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. Uh, uh, Amadeus, Amadeus. I think that's how you pronounce it. How should I know? If I did, what good is that to you? Me. I know what your weakness is. Just like I know that a normal weapon won't cause you any fatal injuries. What? That weapon? You're no ordinary mercenary. Don't tell me. It was you that day. Nope. I'm just your average mercenary. Your kind destroyed my whole village. And now I live only to fight. I'm an Avenger. But I'm not pulling the trigger because it's my job. I'm pulling it for revenge. Yo, Brock just got even more interesting. He was already interesting, but because of this, goddamn. Kierkegaard was unsuccessful. How inconvenient. We only taught him how to use this puppet because he said he would have cooperated in our plan. What a waste of time. I expect more from a hollowed. He won't be needing this either now. Uh oh. Well, shit.
we're running out of time. Damn it! Why'd you gotta get rid of that thing? Cruel automata complete. A cruel angel face says. Okay, if we can judge by her closeness, but we always so one, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least six more kinds of chapters, I guess. Huh. We'll see. We'll see if that is the case. Will you let me go in here? It's pretty late. It's oh, fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. Let's really hope. Oh, there's two of them now. I thought there was only just one. Well, let's see if we can just pick these up then. Then we'll focus on side questing. Oh no, isn't this the house? No one's allowed to enter this house, I'm afraid. You know, the person lives here. Now this old man, don't lie to my face. I know exactly who all their acquaintances are. Not bother me again. That's right, be on your way now. I thought that was, um... Hey, you over there. Come here. Come over to the square. I want to talk to you. You shall not pass. You know what's required if you need something from me. Quite just dropping in on my hideout so casually. What are you planning to do if someone spots you, huh? Ooh, what's this? Oh, you're just a priest. Or priestess, I guess. Some more snow here, and a little pet there. Make it nice and round. I'm looking good. It's coming together nicely. It's not done yet. Just a bit more to go. Bruce is, ve Bruce is very enthusiastic about making a snowman. And except the head. Hmm? Huh? When did you get there? I didn't see you behind me. So, are you a traveler? I'm Claire. What brings you here? Why are you making a snowman? Um, well, it's kind of a long story. Oh, but just to make things clear. Just because I'm making a snowman, it doesn't mean I'm slacking off work. This is an important and respectable part of my job. I'll have you know. So I get true slacker. It's part of your job. Please believe me. You don't believe me, do you? If only I could finish the snowman, then I could show you I'm not lying. I know, could you help me finish it, please? If I can finish it in time, then I'll be able to prove to you that I'm not slacking off work. Great, thanks. So, this is the bit I need help with. The snowman's nearly done. Now I can just add the head and leave it at that. 
but making a snowman is not as simple as just piling balls of snow on top of one, each other, you know? It needs arms and a face as well. So I'd like you to get me some nice strong sticks to make the arms with. Uh, there aren't any good ones around here. The snow has gotten into them. If you go a bit further out into the Jade Forest, you should be able to find some pieces of wood. Could you bring me some? Okay. Thank you, thank you. The woman who gathered snow. All right. Well, we'll be doing that later. I'm gonna go talk to this kid. Hey, over here! Why did you call me over? You just spoke to the priest who's outside that house, didn't you? I knew it! You think something's going on there, too. I was waiting for someone like you to come along. Do you know something about the house? Well, you see, last night I heard something. What did you hear? I heard a really scary voice coming from the house. Why is there a ghost? There's at least one ghost quest in every single town. There's screaming and shouting. It sounded like a fight. It went on for ages. But then suddenly it went silent. Allowed in because of a fight? Isn't that kind of weird? You think so too, right? I bet it's really bad. Something serious happened in there last night, I'm sure of it. I told my parents, but they didn't believe me. They said they didn't hear anything, and I was probably dreaming. But I know for sure I heard it. Maybe you should look into this. Yeah, you think so too, right? Something fishy about that priest, I'm telling you. Standing there blocking the house. He was acting a bit strange. Oh, please. After all the shit we went through, 100% doubt these motherfuckers. Yeah, right? I want to know who he is. I know, I have an idea. We could go to the temple and find another priest. If we bring them here, they'll be able to tell us if he's genuine or not. Do you think it'd be that simple? Yeah, it's a great plan. No, but actually, could you go to the temple and ask the priest for me? They might not believe me if I go. Sure, leave it to me. Great, thanks. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the house, so let's meet here again later. That's one I can't even go in, so don't even bother, I suppose. Um, well, J Force is pretty far. Now yeah, let's just return home for now. I'll do all. I'll continue the side quest stuff later. Uh, I think I was gonna plant some of those. I could make some sandwiches. Or what's something that I can make that the mountain stir fry? Mountain stir fry is pretty good. Sandwiches is pretty good as well. Oh, the things is. You know what? Let's make two of these. They gotta be perfect. There we go. Alright, now that I have the. Wait, isn't that... Oh, that's what this is for, too. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that I have the, um... Oh, 
How many return bells do I have? I have at least one. I could make a cheese maker level two. Sprinkles water over two blocks in all directions when installed on the farm. That's really good. Hmm, maybe I should make another one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should. Hold on, let me see. Will it cost anything that I currently need? Those gems and those two gems. It will not in terms of this stuff. Okay. Let me make just make it the cheese makers. Flour, nectarines, and loco coconuts. So I can put some nectarines in this thing. Alrighty. Let's meet our last great fairy. There's some commotion outside. An emo gave me a letter. Man, maybe we'll check out those guys out there. Well, no. Gotta go back there anyway first before we do that, so. Unless, could that be a level three sprinkler? We'll see. Nah, probably not. I think all that stuff will just be done at level one or two, I mean. So, so, is the winter seas life safe? Totally! I got those blue flowers and robot suit looking guys under control. Things are pretty hectic. Good job, I guess. Good morning. Ugh. What's all this noise so early in the morning? I guess I don't need to ask. The fourth one has joined us finally. That's right. You should be much happier now that all four of the great fairies are together. Celebrate already! Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. I'm the Winter Seaside Fairy. How's it going? Yep, hello. Just because there are more of them doesn't mean you should treat them any different, Ayn. With all the great fairies assembled, you could stand it to be a bit more, I know, awestruck. I'm kind of used to seeing you all now. Oh, I see. Guess I need to think of ways to keep things fresh. Where do you need me? You're not gonna help with the farm, obviously. You have skills it takes to really make this farm thrive. Yay, flying the fields is going to be so much fun. With the blessings of the earth, water and wind together like this, you can bring harmony to this farm too. Aren't you forgetting someone super important? Let's do our best. The farm? Heck yeah, that's my number one specialty. I look forward to working with everyone. Yes, this should be pleasant. 
How does everyone feel about taking a big nap together? <sighs> Should I be worried? Shiri? Shiri? Alrighty. A new Shiri art has been added. No, oh, ma'am. I don't even have any story time now. Huh. I guess I'll just focus on character stories and such now. Alright, we got it three times. We crafted ten times. We crafted Whoa. forty times. Is there anything you can't do? Mayonnaise maker and spice maker. Built rapport. Whoa! What does that means. Is there anything you can't do? Destroy skill charge. That's what I need. Yeah, a majority of these things are stuff that's uh, plant-based or... Craft a hundred times, goddamn. Clear ten floors of Parinoid. What the hell is that? All right, let's see if we can make a mayonnaise maker or a spice maker. With a hammer equipped, hold Y to charge, then releases a break larger rocks. Finally. Add eggs to make mayonnaise. Okay. Process revol pepper and cur curry herbs. Oh, that will be made. Oh, I need this in order to make. Mm, okay, I see. I need that in order to like make like the peppers and stuff. However, I can't plant that shit yet because I do not have a cave thing yet. And that's probably what that is behind the level two uh, bomb area. Or it could be what four, five, or six is. I spoke to Emo. She says she really helped her out the other day. She's been out of sorts for a while now. She seems to be getting back into the swing of things. Still, she's got a long way to go. And God, man, would you stop by my bar and see for yourself? I'm sure it would make her happy. Green citizens, we have received reports of an alleged scandal within, within the Seaslight Order, who are headquartered in the holy capital of Argen. As associate, as associated of the Sea Light Order informed us that the Patriarch has temporarily left his office. Anticipate this order to ensure in the Holy Capital due to the Order's tremendous influence. However, please rest assured, citizens, we, the Lewis Kingdom Brigade, will act on behalf of the Order. Pledge to protect the citizens and their safety. While this can are, are ongoing, please avoid the Winter Sea Light until permission is given. Wasn't on me at that, but fuck you. I hope you are well. I'm sending this letter as I wish to express my gratitude for your assistance before. Without it, I'm sure our struggle would have been far greater. If you happen to find yourself in Narjan, then I hope you will come visit the temple. It will be nice to finally have the opportunity to speak freely. I look forward to seeing you. You may be my client, but while I don't have a problem with you turning up at my hideout now and then, I don't want you turning up at my doorstep without a good reason. Got it? Only come to me if you, if you need me or have a request. If you do need to see me, make sure you talk to the innkeeper first. We clear. Minna. I'm so sorry for getting you caught up in oh, all the stuff surrounding Mr. Coco the other day. But thanks to you, Mr. Coco and I finally worked together. I'm so excited to be working with him to make this in the best it can be. So if you're ever back in Arjun, please stop by and see how he's doing. Now I have all these people. Yeah, we are going to feed for a while.
the veggies are simply bursting to be harvested. This is the flower maker, right? I need one more, okay. Mm, you know what? I'm here. Mm. Yeah, I'm curious to see how my that is. So I need nine of those. Yeah, there's a local coconut. Nectarines. <laughs> Let me put a nectarine in there. Nectarine, nectarine, nectarine. There we are. Sure, I'll put in three of those lemons. What the hell is this? Splendid horn. Huh. Okay. One in there. Put both in there. Uh, let's. Well, I didn't want to put all of them in. There we go. Well, how much, how many of the, that's the wrong thing again. All right, I need to get rid of those big rocks. Quietus, I think will be a perfect time to To Take rearrange this. how I want the farm to be. Take this. Wait, I got wound feet again? God damn it. Although, maybe I 
I mean, like I said, quite is definitely going to be a good opportunity for me to rearrange how I want the farm to be. But I also want to wait until I get the last two areas, and then I have my whole big farm. That's going to take a while, but I'll be able to get it. Okay, who had what for me? Okay, let's head back to that place. Dark Souls, the one place. And in the food. See you later. And check out all these new things. Oh shit, that's right. Jade Force had stuff for us too. That's right, that's right, that's right. Oh, they're green. That means that'll probably be super easy to beat. Damn. Okay, what's the closest one? Um, yeah, let's just teleport. The left whole side. I'm just gonna focus on. I'm. I'm not gonna do the, the ones in Chatola. Actually, the only one I have in Chatola is Emo, right? No, it's just Emo. But I want to do all this stuff over here first. I'll focus. I'll do Chatola later. Right now, I want to do all of these. There's also a quest here, too. Wish I didn't look at that stuff. Mr. Coco has been doing a great job at the inn since you last saw him. Since you saw him last. He's been so popular with the customers, we're just spraying around town of our cute new employee. He's totally taken over my job as the greeter. <laughs> For me, Coco! I'm glad to hear it. sure the innkeeper would say it in the beginning. He actually didn't take much persuading. The Cornell have a reputation for being skilled at business. So if anything, he actually seemed kind of excited to have him. Well, I'm glad it worked out. I don't know why Mr. Coco's peers chased him out of his hometown so cruelly. He's a very capable salesperson. 
you can click with any customer ju just like that. Tony Kono! Tony Kono. He says I'm embarrassing him. With both of us at the door, we make a great team, don't we, Mr. Coco? We'll have the inn booked out for weeks. Haha, oh, sounds like the inn is in good hands. By the way, you've got customers, Mina and Coco. They want to talk to both of us? Yeah, the way for you outside. Could you come too, actually? It would be good to have you around just in case anything kicks off. What kind of customers exactly? Sh shall we go and greet our customers then? Mr. Coco's secret. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna advance the side quests here, and I'm not gonna do the talking with the the uh. I'm not gonna do the talking of the uh character quests yet, because this video's getting a little bit long already, so and when that happens, oh hey it's these guys He's, these console came to see you eh? go to our own kuni kuni they've been trying to tell me something for a while, but I have no idea what they're saying um, I think they're saying they want to talk to Mr. Koko can I stand them, Mina? Kono Kunu Konu Gonu Goron Konini What? What are they saying? Now wait just a minute, you can't just show up out of nowhere and take Mr. Coco back to your hometown. You're the ones who kicked him out in the first place. Now you want him back? What's the meaning of all this? This is Coco's family. Goron I think St. Sorry will make everything better. Me, try to keep your cool. Mina. What? Alright. It's more important how Mr. Coco feels. What do you think, Mr. Coco? Do you want to go back? Kanu, go, kanu, kona. It sounds like he wants to go home. Well, that's understandable. Home is home after all. Come on. But you can't. You're an important member of the inn now. Come on. You can't take him away from me. Meanie grabbed Mr. Coco and ran away with him. Oh my, she kidnapped him. Or should I say Coco napped him? But you can't let them get too far away. Please go after her. We'll catch up with you there. Because we really learned to foster the running a bit more. Hey, you're back. Did you get the sticks? Oh, these are really strong. They're perfect. Now. Just to put this one on the snowman here. And done. Yay. are going to be so happy. Which kids? You'll find out soon. I'm sure they'll be here any minute now. Ah, there they are. Hide. Wow, the snowman's back together again. Yeah, I told you. Anything you wish for in the confessional comes true. Ah. Uh, oh, incredible. It really worked. I'm going to go there sometime too soon. 
Why not go right now? I'll come too. I need to say thanks for fixing the snowman. Okay. Phew, looks like I finished it just in time. Isn't it lovely? The two of them look so happy. So that's what really was work then. See, do you believe me now? I think this snowman really was part of my job. Wait, oh my. Those kids just said they were going to the confessional, didn't they? I, I need to hurry back. There you are, I finally found you. Prodigal priestess. Eek, I know that voice. Can't believe you. What are you doing here? The brother, I, uh, you see, I, um... Don't want to hear any excuses. Come back to the temple at once. Y yes, brother. So, uh, yeah, I have to go now. If you have time later, please come to the temple. I'd like to thank you for helping with the snowman. Well then, bye now. Lot of temple. Try visiting the temple later on. And how they could be so cruel. First they kick him out, then they change their mind just like that. They didn't even give a second thought to how Mr. Koko must have felt that day. He was in a really bad state. Oh me. I'm sorry, Mr. Koko, but I can't let you go back to them. They could just kick you out again for the same reason as before. Besides, isn't working at the inn with us more fun anyway? Can't ignore Mr. Coco's feelings. His feelings? Oh, not Kony. Are you saying that you still want to go back home? Kony. Kona Kony Coco. Konu Konu. Because you want to try being a better salesman this time. And you feel more confident than thanks to now, thanks to us and all the customers at the inn. Konu. Well, if that's what you want, then I wouldn't want to stand in your way. I'm going to miss you, Mr. Coco. Gunny, gunny! Mr. Coco. Looks like you've made a decision. Yes. It's a shame we're losing a great employee so soon. We only just got you, but what can we do? Kona, konu. Kona. Be sorry. To me, you should apologize. So I ran off with you, off with you like that. I won't try and stop you again. Go na, go nu, go ron. You're not going to treat him how you did last time, are you? Please promise you won't. I'll never forgive you. Kick him out again. Go ron. Go nu. Go kana. I love these little fuckers. What are they saying? They said they're going to leave right away. They're going to head to another town through the silent cave. Um, sir, are you okay if I walk them through the silent cave? Yeah, sure. Could you go with her, Ryan? No problem. Thank you. Shall we go to the silent cave then? What is all the way over here? A treasure chest. With hermit's roots. Uh, Develop my stamina again. Kuni, kuni, kuno, kana. Kukuro. 
Alrighty. So now I've got a quest over there, a quest by the house, a quest at temple. Sorry, but I'm working. Sorry, I'm working. Yeah, people with portraits are the only ones that have voices. Oh, hello, dear. I remember you. What's the matter? I'm looking for Tolga. Oh, you just missed him. You'd have to do a while ago. Where are you looking for him anyway? Explain the situation to the old lady. Oh, if I knew, I could have stopped before he left. There's no way for you to know. He can't have gone too far. Have a look around Arjuna. He's probably still here somewhere. I'll do what I can too. So I have a feeling that the in Pony Pukala guy that's definitely going to that's definitely going to be another mission tied to them there so um yeah there's a, definitely going to be another one there um, we have this house we have the temple so okay, i finally found you you again what do you want now Please come back to Chateaula. Why would I go back now? Tell him about the missing boat. And that's why he came to get me. Mark is out there trying all by himself. Listen, don't make me repeat myself. I'm not going back to the lighthouse. Because you're scared? Because you're a bitch? Yes. I'm scared that someone else might lose their life because of the light I shone for them. I couldn't live with that. I'm not strong like Rog. I can't just pick myself up that easily and face the lighthouse again. He's about to go through the same thing. Oh, do grow up, Tolga. You son of a bitch. Oh, it's you. I had to come out and look for him. It was bothering me. I couldn't get through to you the last time, Tolga. But just let me say this. You're not alone. Your son is a good boy and he's there for you. If you're too scared to go back on your own, if the light inside of you has gone out, then move forward together with your son by your side. Your little light of bravery will surely light up again. I believe in you. Dad, it's time to move on. Even the fisherman's family doesn't want to see the light go out. That's their beacon of hope. Come on, Dad. I'm right here with you. Let's give them back their beacon of hope. I'll join him. My light of bravery. Going back to Chateaula. And I tried. Well, I'm tired. I've done all I can. Don't leave the rest with you, dear. Sure. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Well, good luck. Time for me to get some hot pot. I swear to god, this thing better not be closed. It's fucking 6 p.m. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, holy shit. Hello there. You're right. Did you need me for something? I see. I heard shouting coming from the house, did he? 
Oh, very strange. This is the first time I'm hearing of it. Can't think of who that priest at the door could be either. Who is that priest then? We better investigate. First, I would like to speak to the boy who saw, who says he heard the shouting. Could you take me to him, please? Thank you. I'm ready when you are. Okay, but I want to. I need to talk to this couple first. Is this the temple? Yes. Does it look familiar to you? It does. I've been here before. Sorry, guys. Could I have a look around on my own? Of course. Take care. This place seems to have struck a chord. It would be the temple of all places. There's more to it, isn't there? We got interrupted earlier when I was about to tell you why Jade's parents opposed our marriage. It makes sense to tell you now. Jade was a high-ranking priest at this temple. His family are all of the order, so he was raised from a young child to become a priest. They had a family of a certain standing, so they had already arranged a wife for him. But he didn't know that until after he and I had already fallen in love. Neither of us had any idea about his parents' plan for an arranged marriage. I should have told him earlier. It's, a com it's common for him, it's a kid, so... When I first found out about it, I tried to end things with Jade. I just accepted it and tried to move on. I knew from the beginning that they might disapprove of me anyway, because I'm not a devout believer like them. But Jade was different. No matter how much his parents opposed our love, he wasn't going to give up on us. He said he wanted to be with me even if that means going against the teachings. I was so happy when he said that to me. It made me not want to give up either. Two were really loved up. Yeah, nothing could have stopped us at that point. Our feelings for each other were too strong. And that's how we ended up here. Slyla, Iron, I'm back. Anything? I felt a warm, tingling feeling in my chest. But I still don't remember anything. Oh. I would pray for you now. But that's kind of hypothetical. Hypocritical, isn't it? At this time, I've never been a believer until now when it suits me. Slyla? Give up. I'm all out of ideas. Jade, is that you? Huh? It is you. Where have you been, brother? Um, I. I was been worried about you, you know. I heard from your parents that you've gone missing. Parents? Right. Jade felt somewhere to go home to. What do you mean, Miss Lila? Who's that lady? Can I talk to you about Jade, please? Me? Sure. Jade tells the priest about Jade's amnesia. I see. I lost managed from an accident. That's how he went missing. Yes. I have a favor to ask. Jade, stay here with you, please. Oh? I'll ask you the same thing. His parents will be happy to have him back. If he stays here long enough, his memory might just return. But wait! Where are you going, Miss Lila? And this is where my we part ways. You belong here with your family. I'll tell the lady you were staying with back in Nemza, so don't worry. Nemena. Nemma. I think it's a good idea for you to stay here in Argina. That way your memory is more likely to come back. What about you? I'll be fine as long as you are. So, this is it. Okay. Are you ready? 
All right, Jade, come with me. We've got to get you to your family. Hello, Miss Lila. Nine. Thank you for everything. Well, this sucks. You sure about this? I can we go to Chateaula? I want to go back to that beach where you found me. Thank you. Let's go. Oh boy. All righty. Oh, well, guys. It's been bittersweet, but I think this is how we're going to have to end the part off here, guys. Oh, boy. A lot of stuff went on. Well, now we have... Well, now we'll have a little more time. I probably will go do these things uh, when, you know, when we're done. Wait, there's another thing in that temple? What other quest is there in the temple? All oh, right, yeah, this. That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we gotta do at temples. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Harvest Stella. In the next part, guys, like I said, I guess we'll just be focusing on some side quests and character quests until, um, until, uh, you know, we are done. Or, you know, until, uh, until story stuff happens. And even then, I, I don't know how long I'll focus on the, uh, oh, well, thank God I stayed. I don't know how, how much I'll focus on the, story stuff after. Obviously, we have all these character quests to do. I would love to maybe do these in the next part. I, I might have to cut them down. I I know for sure I can at least do the ones here and then emo. Uh, doing these two, I might have to wait for like the next day or something because it's what, currently like 6.30? Okay. Oh, damn it. This again. Oh, well, not a big deal. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click and comment down below if you like by the video, didn't like by the video, and let me know, guys, what did you think of uh, that boss for the chapter here with the automata and the hollowed. So we're learning a different kind of class of things. It is curious because this is a nice little like that is the exact number of people there. But of course, we still have three classes left. So I'm curious how it's going to look afterwards. And of course, whenever the next story bit happens. So, oh, well, I'm curious. And I hope you guys are too. This game is fun as hell. And I, I'm, we're going to keep going through it. Gonna keep going through it until um, until it's done, you know. But yeah, let me know how you guys felt about the boss and everything. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kit Twitter, are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time.